welcome to my channel today I came up with a brilliant idea for some reason I got a flashback from when I was in elementary school middle school and high school I wasn't the brightest kid in class so you know what I did instead of listening I drew futuristic guns I know might sound insane but it was really fun and I really had a great time doing it and for some reason it just clicked in my head today that I should try to make ASMR videos about that well let's see what we got so far on our display we got the computer paper we got three brand new Bic pens and we have two pencils note that the pencils are not sharp we don't want sharp pencils. We want slightly used pencils. Okay. Next, besides the utensils, we got our Tommy gun. Now, this is a goat gun. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's just a mini modeled weapon. There's multiple of them. I got the Tommy gun. We're going to use this to baste our futuristic weapon with. And yeah, we're not going to, we're going to, so let's think about futuristic for a second. This is plain. When I think of futuristic, I think of a crazy scope, a long scope, something huge that has very long range. Better yet, and besides that, it's the magazine. The magazine is too basic. We want to shoot laser beams and some type of plasma balls or some sort. So we're going to not use this when we're going to trace our weapon or get a reference from it. I'm going to put this to the side over here. And the last thing we have is our Mega Block Xbox 360 controller. If you want to watch this video, I got it. I'll try to leave one of those things on top. Hopefully I remember. I'm going to leave this here because I got the inspiration from these weapons from playing Call of Duty Zombies. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but there is things called Wonder Weapons, and I was obsessed with the Wonder Weapons, in particular the Wonder Waff. That's because it has so many parts that it was just so cool to me. It had the lights on the side, the three lights. It had like the cage Tesla coil system going on. And better, the best part about it was it was so futuristic, but it had a wooden stock. And I just found that so cool. Please forgive my dog. I know it's very annoying. Anyway. Okay, let's get the stock now. We're gonna slowly trace it. Gonna get the back area. Okay, let's see what we're left with. Okay. Now this, this is all we need to get started. Let's fix our mistakes before we go any further. There is this one little line that I have messed up on. Okay. Some type of spike. Mm, yeah, we'll do some type of spiky grip. Okay. We're gonna make this a little better. That's not that sharp. But okay, here we go. We got the grip going. Let's finish up this stock. Perfect. I'm gonna go down with it, down with it. Okay. Now. Let's do this. I'm gonna make the scope start here and end here. So let's go up here. I'm gonna do a little bit something like this and go outwards with it. We're gonna start the scope by doing this. Gotta make a little indent for the scope, okay. I should 
get a ruler. This would be so much better with the ruler, but we don't have that technology yet. So let's, pro uh, you know what I do? Let's see what we can do about this. Okay, we got our scope going. Let's do the bottom portion of the scope. Okay. Let's finish. Let's do something a little bit like a little bit like that. We're going to put something like that it's just the beginning we're gonna put mm, I'm gonna try to put like the ray gun type of spikes back here for now I know that's not really not really spikes anything that's Tesla coils so we'll do something like that this is where all the power comes from from this rifle this is the Tesla coils we're gonna put another support for the scope right here okay so we got one support and we got two support you're not supposed to touch the coils. They are extremely dangerous. That's why it's hidden underneath the scope. Next, let's finish up this scope. Okay, that is finished. We will touch up on that later. Now we have to focus on the magazine. We're going to... a long magazine it's gonna end right here a little bit too much I'm doing it's okay it's okay to make mistakes I learned that the hard way <laughs> okay that's it this is where our plasma beans are going to be stored. Okay. Let's let's make the trigger. Trigger is going to be a slight curve. Nothing too crazy and it's going to be an open an open trigger. It's not going to have the guard because I don't know why. It's just not going to. Okay, we got that going. Now we got to make the laser. So let's make the laser for the accuracy for the red dot laser. We're gonna put right here. We gotta put a button for us. And uh, um, we'll put the laser like that we're gonna put a power box for the laser we're gonna put a power box for the laser right here so it's gonna be like something like something like this with a plasma ball going on we're gonna put the wire here. So it's gonna go like, just like that. This is the wire connecting to the plasma box to the laser for the scope. Next, we're gonna connect this. And for the, for the, For the um, the tip, we'll do something 
a little bit like this. Something like that, and then we'll have the ray beam. We'll have the ray beam. Something like this. With a ball at the end. Okay. So far, so good looking pretty cool now don't worry this side of you will literally reach the tip so you have good sight of the scope you want to see this so you know that your aim is true and you're gonna hit something okay so we got the stock the grip the magazine the scope the laser, the front. Now, the best part is gonna happen now. Now, we gotta add details within this rifle. Let's start off with the magazine. Let's make the plasma beams visible. Or at least the juice inside. We're gonna do something like this. I got this design from the Black Ops 1 Pack-A-Punch um, camos. I uh, forgot what map I remember it most from. Um, I feel like I remember it most from Doris from the World at War remake. Okay. Okay, that is the Plasma Charge for the weaponry. Next, let's make a charging handle. Okay, this is gonna have a big gonna have a circle there we'll color that in that is the charging handle so you pull it back and then you just beam somebody okay next we gotta let's take examples from this for instance we could extend the the stock something like this This is awesome. This is getting places. This is looking really good. We should add... What else should I add? Maybe I should add a... We'll touch up the back of the stalk. Color that in. Okay. Next, we have to, what should I do? Should I make rings up here? Uh, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. We'll have one ring, two ring, three ring. Um, four, five. Five is good enough, I believe. Do like electricity. Okay, that's electricity going on. Let's touch up this scope. Color this in so we have more details. Everything's about detail. Okay. 
looking pretty decent so far. Um, let me think what else we could do here. We could add... Um, let's enhance our spike. I don't really know how to go with this. Maybe, um... We have to make our MIG release first. That's our MIG release. We have the, let's do the Tesla coils a little bit more. Okay, that's there. Let's make another. This is where the power stores. This goes from here. We'll make we'll make pipes. We'll make uh, make the power stores here. Make it all connect. That's good enough. Let's let's darken the sides because I am sh for sure that we are gonna keep this. So let's darken this in. We're gonna keep the power box. We're gonna keep this. Let's. We're not gonna touch the wires because the wires gotta be light because it's gotta be known that it is wire, not part of the weapon. Okay. This is the grip for the front of the barrel. My pencil seems to be bending. Anyway, if you guys made it this far, please like and subscribe. I will definitely be making more videos like this. I enjoy drawing weapons like this. This is, this is pretty decent. I haven't done this since in maybe like... Well, I was last in high school four years ago, but I don't really remember doing it like the last time. So I remember definitely doing it in middle school. So that's like seven plus years. This is pretty good for my first time. Um, yeah, this is pretty good, pretty good. Let's darken up the edges. I think I'm just gonna keep this like that. I think we're done here actually. Let's just uh, color in the pen. We'll do the blue. I gotta get a special microphone so you guys could hear the um, pencil going. I'm not too sure if you could hear it. This pen. Okay, you got it going. Let's do the coils, the Tesla coils is blue, we'll do the plasma blue, okay, blue and black and white, that's like really cool, it's like, it's like, I don't even know, it looks deadly, this thing eradicates people. It, it, it's gonna shoot like a straight beam at somebody. This is Chris is crazy. This is this is definitely bringing back memories from school. It's kind of a good thing, you know. You hate school while you're in it, but then you miss it when you're out of it. Okay, we got the blue going. We are still recording. Okay, let's do the Tesla coils, something like that. Okay, something like that, like that. 
Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. You're going to see this. This drawing looks better when it's not colored in. That's why I'm not going to color in everything. But we're going to have this blue, 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 blue. We're going to have this the black and white pencil. That's where it's stored. The pencil, it's mixed with pen and pencil, meaning that the blue is magma or plasma. And the pencil is like dark matter, which is like whatever. We're going to have the dark matter start up here. We're going to have the plasma in here. And the, this powers up the rifle. So this is, you put it in, the power is in here. And this powers up the scope, the Tesla coils, and the laser. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You rack, you obviously, you stick the, you pull this back, you latch it down here, you stick the magazine in, you slap it. We're gonna have a slap to the, to the, whatever it is. Slap it, and it powers all up. And I'm gonna put a switch somewhere for the whole mechanism. Maybe we'll just put it over here, we'll make it blue. Make it like a lever, so you have to flick it like the Wonder Waff. Okay, that was an unnecessary sound effect. Yeah, but um, I think that's it. I could do the whole thing in pen, but I think that's it. Let's show it up to the the light. This is looking really cool, really really cool. All right, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. It means a lot. I will catch you in the next video. Enjoy your day. Good night. Good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you are, enjoy. Goodbye.